Hello guys, how are you doing? So today we are going to talk about Unit 6. So this is a kind of writing related class, paragraph, right? So paragraph writing is important. So this unit is dedicated for the students to learn writing. That means if you ask them to write about something, they should be able to write about it. This is what paragraph is, right? So about this paragraph, how you can teach it? Don't ask them to memorize all these things. Rather, teach them how to make relevant sentences about a particular thing. So before starting the paragraph, you should help them with a story just like the way for example you bring a student and ask her what is your favorite color in your Rohingya language of course so once you get the answer for example Karim you come here what is your favorite color what is it red okay so red is your favorite color what are the things you can name that are red ask the student the same question he will be giving you some name for example tomato there's a red car uh, there's a red shirt so many things could be in red so now you ask the student could you tell me something about the red shirt you have goes to all these things in your Rohingya language now he will be able to say that I have got this red shirt my father bought it for me or my mom bought it for me I was I went with my father when I bought that shirt I love that shirt very much it fits me when I wear this shirt I look good in it and so other things they will be able to say you four five six sentences regarding this shirt right now if they can do it then you ask him to write these things in your Rohingya language first. Then you pick one by one sentences and translate it in English. Okay? Now you can start with the same thing like the very first paragraph we have in the book. What is it? Playground. It's talking about a playground. So you describe a playground first read this paragraph describe the playground first and then you go to the next page see there is a picture given it's almost similar to the very first one just like this picture yeah so here you will see there are some particular words given you ask the students to write sentences using that word. So five words given, write five sentences. Of course, make sure you relate the sentences to this picture. So they won't be able to do it at the very first time. What are you going to do? You do practicing. Now, this is the way where you teach them how you are helping them practicing this paragraph writing is deciding how your students are learning so before you talk about this picture so you show them the picture see this picture what you can see ask everyone the question they will see there is a swing see swing you guys have got some name in our country we call it dolna so it's a swing thing you can swing on it right so you've got this name so you ask the student what you can do with this swing they will answer you that we can swing and it is fun see they will be able to make sentences in your Rohingya language now you tell them we can swing this is how you help them translating remember the way you teach them about sentence 
So here you relate the class of sentence and your classes before means they are learning translation and sentence writing together. Could you do it? Now let me provide you with some example so that you can help your students in this way. The very first thing you read this paragraph then you explain it. You try to make it more as much explanatory as possible for you. Once you have done it then you do the reading again. Then you go to the next one. Guys look at this picture now. What you can see from here? Oh well let's just see there are some people okay uh, we can see someone is swinging we can see someone is uplifting and someone is slaying so there are three things we can see here now right swings look on two three four five we have five different words given swings slide seesaw children benches so there are five things and you write five sentences using these five words. Now the very first one swings. The swing swings. See what do we call this? Swing is swings. The swing swings or cream swings. Or you could say Kareem is swinging. Next one, slide. Let us go slide or we can slide in the school playground. Why we can slide in the school playground? See, we can slide in the school playground. You write the sentence, you make an explanation. Rather, you first ask your student to write. Then you bring many, as many sentences as possible from the students. Then you tell about these sentences to others as well. That would give them an idea of getting a wide variety of sentences using the same word. I hope you got it. Now look at this one. Seesaw. See? So. They are playing with the seesaw and it is very fun. They are playing with the seesaw. Now which one is seesaw here? This one is a seesaw. Now children, there are many children who are playing in the ground. Children are playing in the playground. Children are playing in the playground. Or Many children play in the school playground. Now benches. There are some benches for us to sit in the playground. There are some benches for us to sit in the playground. Now write these five sentences about the playground. See, write these five sentences. You don't have to make sense like a paragraph at the very beginning but make sure they can write sentences when you give them a word okay this is how you start practicing so once it is done you give them homework see the next picture is giving another thing so you give them a homework you talk about these pictures in the classroom, give them an idea what they could write and then ask them. Do not practice it in this class, rather ask them to write it at home. Bring it back to you. When they are returning back, you check their homework and then you provide them with some new lines or new sentences. If you guys are struggling with making these sentences using this word, just return back to me you could knock me i could give you more sentences using these words yeah you are done that's where you stop the paragraph thing but you don't stop here you practice it make sure you take two three four classes in 
explaining the paragraph writing procedures in making sentences using a given word. I hope that will help you. Now, let me give you some idea the sentences or types of sentences you could give for this picture. Bright. It's a bright day. The sun is very bright today. It is a sunny day. It is a sunny day. Or you could say it is a bright sunny day. It is a bright sunny day. There are some pretty flowers near the playground. There are some pretty flowers near the playground. I can see some pretty flowers beside the playground. Green trees. There are many green trees near our playground. There are many green trees beside my home. Swings. So in the playground we swings. We swings in the playground. Me and my brother swings in the playground. Me and my friend swings in the playground. Benches. The elder people sit on the benches in the playground. See, the elder people are sit on the benches in the playground. I can see some children playing in the playground. I can see some children playing. There are many people come to the playground. There are people who come to the playground. Slides. We have a slide in our playground. We have a slide in our playground or we can slide in our playground. So you keep them at least two or three sentences, varieties, discuss it in the classroom but do not write it. Let them do it at home as homework. Then you see how much they could remember and how much they could find out from the picture. Once they come up with the homework, then you give them the whole thing again. Now that's how you start helping them writing these paragraphs about a particular topic. Okay, so uh, we'll discuss about this in the later classes as well. So till then, see you again.